give a round of a big a round of applause for Kensington. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Good morning. I go to Kensington Health and Sciences, formerly known as Kensington Culinary, which made food for kids. We knew this challenge was right up our alley to create a sustainable food source for our kids and following community, I mean, surrounded community. So we've made our own compost program at our own school to create healthy food sources for communities and Our school is located in the second um, congressional district, the second poorest congressional district in the nation, which our student body don't have like much food resources that are not like healthy, that are not available to them. So we started by building up a relationship with Greens Go Garden community. So with that, we collected some scraps from our school lunches, converted it into compost right in our school grounds, and made it and traded it with Greens Girl Garden. Then, yeah, that's, that's what we did. We like traded it with them. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm going to be talking about what is compost. Compost is rotten materials used to help your garden grow. Composting is a natural process of recycling materials such as leaves, vegetables, scraps, fruits, and other household items into a rich fertilizer known as a black gold. Black gold, you can make your garden faster, um, sorry, faster, stronger, and make it more healthier than it could be. With that, you can enjoy with your family and friends. And what next, I'll be gonna show you which items you can or cannot be used in compost, composting material. You can't use everything in compost. You can't use meat, seafood, um, dairy, or bread. Because the meat, um, attracts rodents and other insects, and the seafood starts to smell, and so, and the bread doesn't um, break down as easily. Um, I'm gonna pass. Oh, you already have one. In order to create compost, we had to collect compostable scraps from each lunch period, and then took it down to our compost bin, and spend. We have to spin the barrel several times per day. By the end of the fourth week we had a small thing of compost, which we took over to Greens Grow Farm in order for them to grow our vegetables. We chose to partner with Greens Grow Farm because they've been around since 1997. And they, have, they contain a 6,000 square foot greenhouse and there are mobile, mobile food trucks in our neighborhood. And the farm can be rented for the community events such as weddings and pri private benefits. And um, we're here to, uh, have sustainable food sources, and they have a pig named Milkshake, and a free range of uh, ducks and chickens. Go for it. What you're seeing behind me is our first batch of compost that we use to make vegetables such as spinach, kales, and tomatoes by using hydroponic grow pads and heated seed mats to help grow. In other areas of Green's Grow Garden, we use passive solar energy. Why we choose this challenge? 25 students surveyed, only four have regular access to healthy food at home. By, prepare, by preparing a... <sighs> by pairing up with Green Girls Farm, we created a sustainable long-term partnership to show for our students. We will be able to pass down our program to the next generation at our own school. We invite you to stop by our table to learn more about it. My name's Genesis. My name is Jay. My name is Brian Lopez. Talon. I'm Gabriella. Jordan. My name is Arlene. Roosevelt Castro, and we are. Straight out of Campos. Straight out of Campos. Straight out of Campos. You didn't say Campos. I know. <laughs> No, Can I just say no, no, thank you for all of the schools that every time a team comes on and off, you stand up and give them the big round of applause that you want to have when you come on stage. So thank you for those tables that are being consistent. And I challenge those that aren't, 
to perhaps get on the consistency bandwagon. All right. Thank you. All right, three minutes for question and answers. So terrific, and I have to say, your logo is out of this world great. I love it. Um, Thank you. So I have a question for all of you. Well, you don't have to all answer, but I'm very curious about, so where were you on the food spectrum before this project? I mean, what was your reality around the food desert? What was your reality around composting? All of that. So basically, we were just like, we were all doing our work, finally, and a teacher comes up to us, asks if we want to do this challenge or not. And we agreed to do it because we believe we could do it. So we made this idea, we went to the presentation for all the other challenges, and they gave us the great idea of doing the one with the food. So we, we decided that we should compost it, make it into new material, and buy food for our neighborhood and everyone else. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. I felt like, um, like at first, like I, I was watching and then I, I was like, you know, let's do this. I felt like people nowadays, like we waste a lot of food and why like waste our fruits and vegetables? Like you'd be like, oh, that's nasty. Like instead of just being like, that's nasty, use it for compost, grow food for people that actually need it. It's up with your type. Well, like since, <clears throat> like I was born and raised in a Hispanic household, we always have the extra tomatoes and the extra <laughs> carrots and the extra broccoli and everything. So I figured, well, why not use the extras that we have and use them for compost? Awesome. Um, great job, really, really great job. I, I just want one of the shirts. Can I get one? <laughs> in the last group. Um, that is not I, a question. That is not a question. It kind of is. Anyway. Um, how do you plan to transform your households with this act? Is that possible? I mean, it is possible because like my parents, we have a recycling bin and we put the plastics in there. And I'm pretty sure not just in our household that we could do this in. We could do this in schools. Even if like we graduate and stuff like that, I feel like we could put bins in schools and say compost and I have a list of foods we could put in that compost. And then during that, the end of the day, we collect that and then we, give it to better use. Um, since we're asking about shirts, no, I'm joking, but <laughs> not really. Um, my question is in relationship to how did other students react to the fact that you were taking what they consider to be trash and reusing it? Well, um, we had a few other students, like when they seen we were collecting, they were like, oh, what are you doing with the uh, extras? <laughs> and they came up to us and they asked, oh, what are you doing? And we told them that we're partaking in the Aspen Challenge and that our challenge was to help create a sustainable food source for others that need it. And they were like, oh, how can we help? And then, like, we had a few other students, like, help collect the, the vegetables and things like that. We had a, a senior especially help us at Fifth Lunch. He would help us, like, go to every table. Like, if we weren't comfortable to go to a table, he would go collect everything, bring it to us. And he was bringing it so fast that we couldn't, like, keep up. And we were getting overwhelmed because we were, we were trying to get it in so fast, and he kept bringing them, bringing them, bringing them. <laughs> All right, time is up. We kind of messed up the clock, so Good that's job. not the truth. Your time is up. <laughs> Woo! I Let's appreciate your guys' time. Great job.